Plenty of people flew into the Armstrong Airport in New Knoxville to enjoy the eclipse, while others came in to study it. Researchers from the Montana Space Grant Consortium were using balloons to send cameras up 85,000 feet into the atmosphere, which is still technically below space. They weren't looking at the eclipse, but studied the effects of the temperature changes that the shadow of the moon creates as it passes over the Earth. When uh, the moon actually crosses over the sun's path, we will see the atmosphere compress and then re-expand when that comes back uh, out from in front of the sun. But uh, that causes those differential waves in the atmosphere called gravity waves. Montana State University was one of the groups along the path of totality leading the National Eclipse Ballooning Project. The students designed the cameras and others' equipment used during the flights. Kind of mind-boggling to me to think that a system that I've been working on for about a year and a half, two years now, is is going to be used and viewed by so many people. You know, when when I first started, the only people that were viewing it were us and like my parents. That project is funded by a grant from NASA.